America. A continent of immense diversity, a cradle of life. For millennia, it has witnessed the grand theater of evolution, a relentless process of adaptation and change. And here, in this ancient landscape, some seven million years ago, we find the very first threads of our own remarkable story. This is Ancient Africa Chronicles, a journey back through time to uncover stories from the cradle of humankind. If you enjoy this exploration of our deep past, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. In this episode, we will explore the very beginnings of our lineage, a journey that starts with the first ancestor in Africa. We look at the enigmatic creature known as Sahelanthropus chadensis and the remarkable fossil that takes us back a staggering seven million years. Imagine this world, a mosaic of forests and grasslands stretching across a vibrant and teeming continent. This was not the vast arid desert we know today. Seven million years ago, a massive lake, Lake Chad, would have dominated the landscape, sustaining a rich tapestry of life. Amongst the ancient trees and in the marshy wetlands lived a creature unlike any other before it. We call it Sahelanthropus. The story of its discovery is as compelling as the creature itself. For decades, the prevailing theory known as the East Side Story suggested that human evolution began exclusively in the Great Rift Valley of East Africa. The theory held that a tectonic rift had created a climatic divide, with rainforests to the west and a drier savanna to the east, forcing our ancestors to evolve a new way of walking. But in 2001, a team led by French paleoanthropologist Michel Brunet, working in the remote and unforgiving Jurab Desert of Chad, unearthed a single, remarkably preserved cranium. Nicknamed Tumai, meaning hope of life, in the local Goran language, this fossil was a bombshell. It shattered the scientific consensus and proved that the roots of the human family tree were far more widespread across Africa than previously imagined. <laughs> the shape of this ancient skull, the angle of the face, the size of the teeth, even the worn pattern on its jaw, all whisper of a creature on the cusp of change. The most notable feature is the relatively small face and the remarkably human-like size of the canine teeth, which are far smaller and blunter than those of earlier apes. This suggests a change in social dynamics, as large canines are often used for threat displays in apes. But its most profound secret was hidden at the very base. The position of the foramen magnum, the hole through which the spinal cord connects to the brain, is a key clue. In most apes, this opening is positioned toward the back of the skull, a configuration best suited for a horizontal spine, a life of walking on all fours or swinging through the trees. In humans, however, it's located almost directly underneath, allowing the spine to connect vertically and support an upright head. On the Tumai skull, this opening is positioned somewhere in between, but notably closer to the human pattern. This subtle shift suggests that Sahelanthropus may have possessed the ability to walk upright, at least for short distances. This bipedalism, however rudimentary and perhaps not its primary mode of movement, would have been a monumental evolutionary leap. It freed the hands for other tasks, perhaps carrying precious food, grasping branches to climb, or even carrying offspring. and offered a better vantage point for spotting predators or distant food sources across the increasingly open savannas. The ability to move efficiently between woodlands and grasslands would have given it a huge survival advantage. Life for these early ancestors was a constant negotiation with their surroundings, 
they shared their world with formidable creatures, saber-tooth cats, giant crocodiles, and a host of other now extinct megafauna. Their days were likely spent in a tireless search for sustenance. The microware patterns on their teeth suggest a diet that was more varied and tougher than a forest ape's. They were likely foraging for fruits, tender leaves and nutritious roots, perhaps even the seeds and nuts of plants. A diet that reflects their life on the edge of the savanna. The question remains, of course, is Sahelanthropus our direct ancestor? The answer for now is complex. The story of evolution is far more intricate than a simple straight line. Instead, picture a branching bush with many early experiments in hominin form, each adapting to their specific ecological niches. Some of these branches died out, while others gave rise to new species. Sahelanthropus is likely a part of this rich, tangled family tree. While it may not be the trunk itself, it stands as an undeniable testament to the deep and ancient roots of our lineage, firmly planted in the rich African soil, millions of years before any other widely accepted hominin fossil. The discovery of Sahelanthropus and other contenders from this period, such as Aurorin tugenensis from Kenya, reminds us that early human evolution was not a linear march, but a dynamic, mosaic process. Different hominin species may have coexisted, each with a unique blend of ape-like and human-like traits, competing and adapting to a changing world. This era was a crucible of innovation, where the blueprint for our own species was being tested and refined. Seven million years, a truly staggering expanse of time, almost incomprehensible to the modern mind. Yet, within the fragile, fossilized fragments painstakingly unearthed from the sands of Chad, we find a profound echo of our earliest beginnings. The first ancestor we know of in Africa, Sahelanthropus, is more than just a fossil. It is a symbol of our origins, a crucial and enigmatic figure in the long and extraordinary journey of humankind. A journey that began here, on this very continent, and continues to unfold with each new discovery, each new layer of the past we managed to peel back, revealing the incredible story of how we came to be.